Hello everyone, it's Monica here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a brand new collection by Textures. It's called Secret Garden and as you can see, it's such a pretty collection. This collection has six items all together, but I've got five and I'm going to show them. So you can see some of the projects I've done. So there are four of them in total. And let me show you uh, the uh, product. So first of all, we've got this beautiful winter rose. This is a dye set uh, which has 27 pieces and uh, what I did uh, I put them actually into pouches so let me show you what I did I separated them because you've got this cutting edge which cuts into the card and it will create this effect so you're going to have the edge to put your beautiful rose on then uh, we've got a uh, We've got the stem as well. We've got lots of leaves as well and all those bits, green bits, as you can see. So I put them separately. So if I want to cut some leaves, I know what, which pouch to take. This one, what I did, I separated that rose. So let me just move it around. So that's the rose. Of course, you can use different petals to create different looking flower, but this is how I created. And if you want, I can actually show you a step-by-step -step tutorial how to create those, how to layer those uh, that rose. So this one is the bigger one, and I've got separately uh, that uh, that um, small one as well. So you can keep them separately if you uh, if you know that you will need them very quickly. So that's what I did. So this set, set is really pretty and together with uh, this gate, you can see that the gate is quite big. It has four pieces. So you've got the gate and you've got those, I think they're called hinges. Uh, so let me show you the die. As you can see, so let me actually show you the card. You can see it better. What I did with this one, I cut it into black and I created like a gate. So we've got this uh, sentiment which you can unfold it, open it up, and you can put some uh, more, um, wishes maybe inside. And I did it this way, just to hold my gate shut. And I really like this, uh, this card a lot. So this is the gate. Oh, and I wanted to tell you the measurements. So the measurements uh, for this card is five and a half almost. And the height of that gate is almost five inches so really nice beautiful uh beautiful uh die set and you can use it for so many different occasions like for weddings as well and for, uh, for lots of different projects so this is the uh, elegant gates uh four pieces as i said and then we've got this secret garden layering floral border stamp set so we've got uh, those flowers and we've got that extra layer and let me show you quickly the card i've made so i use black gold and white i love this color combo i think it's very elegant and i use um uh, the set which you're going to see in a minute because we've got this uh, sentiment set and die set so let me keep it on the side so that's the layering die and then we've got this set which has those beautiful you can actually see it really well on the packaging because you can see the blue ones it's a, a die which you can cut out and again i cut it in the pouch so you've got uh, seven dies so you've got mats and layers plus you've got this little bit uh, to cut the inside of the letter O so you've got for letter O you've got those three dies I hope you can see it nicely now um, two of those and two of those really nice set and I think those stamps are really nice um, so let me uh, show you you are the best flowers for you happy birthday to you and actually i use this one probably you, i don't know if you've seen it but i use happy birthday i masked off two 
and I use it as a happy birthday, just a sentiment without you, without two. Uh, so you can play with the set really nicely. Thank you. You all make me smile. You are so special. Uh, love you just for you. I think this is a, such a nice set and I think this collection, uh, I hope you will like it because I loved playing with that. And the fifth um, uh, element from this collection is this uh, 3D embossing folder. It's such a nice embossing folder. It's such a deep embossing folder. Let me show you on this project. So I, I used the uh, stamp and sent um, and die set. Thank you. Quite simple card, but I really wanted to highlight the, the embossing folder by using some inks. So let me show you the inks I used. So I use this dress ink uh, in walnut stain and antique linen. I, I had so much fun actually applying the ink, just uh, highlighting those bricks, uh, stones actually, because uh, they look more like a stone, stone wall. And it simply adding thank you. And I think with this white border, it looks really pretty. So this one is five by seven 3D embossing folder. And then I showed you this. Uh, this one is four by six. Uh, very clean and simple, elegant with three colors. I think I love this one a lot. Love the hot uh, heat embossing. I hope you like it too. A little bit of glitter card, it's just stamping. For very quick and easy cards, I think this is such a nice way to create something. And of course, those two cards with that uh, uh, with that beautiful rose. One, I really, when I saw this collection, I thought, no, I need to do white rose. I love white roses. And I added a little bit of um, green in the center. You can see that the rose has so many layers. So this is um, the first layer is the one where I cut uh, the edge uh, into the card. And then I added another three, two layers to create this beautiful flower. I hope you like it. You can see on this one, even on the small one, there's so many layers. It's such a beautiful uh, and I said, and I hope you will like it as well. And you can create different things. Like for example, this one, you can see that uh, this is how it looks on the packaging. As you can see over here, I just recreated the packaging. But you can do so many things and if I had more time, I would create like uh, maybe a wreath out of uh, those roses and then put a sentiment uh, in, in the center or just on the side. I think this set is just, if you can't go for the full collection, I do recommend this set because you're going to use it time and time again. I think this rose uh, in the red is beautiful. I was uh, thinking about putting it into uh, uh pinkish or more dark pink color you can see that you can use um solid colored uh, cardstock or you can use white cardstock and add uh, some color with your ink so you know there are so many different ways you can do it and you can uh, actually create a composition the way it suits for your project so uh, i really like that one so let me go back to this one so for this uh, this card what i did i used the embossing folder use this embossing folder as my stamp so what I did, I put some ink on that raised uh, side. Let me just feel it. On this raised side, uh, I put two different colors. I think it was the antique linen and rusty hinge. You can see that rusty effect here because I wanted to show more of those uh, beautiful stone effect. So that's what I did. And then I used a Y. Uh, wow <laughs> clear embossing powder and i just hit embossed it you can see that it's a little bit raised but not so much and then i stamp you are um, um die cut you uh, are the best stamp uh, from that die and stamp set the rose i added a matte um uh, matte black card and plain inside so i really like this card i hope you like it as well 
and then the last card with the gate again the gate and the rose uh, that such a beautiful set and i hope you will like this one i hope i really like this i actually like every single sample because every single sample shows a little bit different approach different techniques and uh how you can use it so what i did with this one i first uh, die cut uh, the gate in black then i added some um this one is inca gold um uh wax yes that was what i was looking for uh wax and then what i was i was looking at this gate and i thought no it needs to be more visible it needs to be more um because it's such a pretty gate i wanted to highlight first what i did i took uh, i've got this um acrylic gold acrylic acrylic marker and i highlighted those around pieces and then i thought yeah let me go a bit further so i did the board and then i uh, did the arches here and i thought this is a, such a beautiful gate that i didn't want to put any of it mm, any patent i was thinking about that brick wall uh embossing folder but i thought no i need to highlight that, that gate so i found this paper is from previous collection by lou collins and i think it works really well i like it i like dark gold gray um uh, gold uh heat embossing and that red rose i think it looks really pretty together i like the color combo and i hope you like it as well so yes these are all my samples four samples and i hope you like them and i hope you will like the collection as well let me know if you've got your favorite project uh, from all those four i've created and uh what do you think about the collection would you go for the full collection as i said they're going to have um rabbons with this collection and i will include all the ink so you can check it out um so yes let me know what do you think about those projects and about the collection if you can't go for the full collection which items would you pick from this collection i i i, I can bet that uh, you would go for the rose or the gate or both together because i think these are such a beautiful dice so thank you so much for watching thank you for for your support if you like this video give me thumbs ups uh, if you're new to this channel uh, please consider subscribing and um and hit that notification bell so you're not going to miss any more videos from me so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video very soon bye for now